So how can you get a guaranteed win out of this course? Well, there's a few things you can do, and we're going to talk about them in this lecture very briefly. But first, I just want to say that whenever I take a course online, I find it very frustrating and upsetting when the instructor creates their course, they give it to me, and they leave me at that. I can't ask any questions. I have no support. So I want to make sure that I offer in all my courses fully responsive support throughout the entire course. So if you have any questions, post them to the Q&A section and either me or one of my teacher assistants who are all very skilled artists will answer your questions. Now, the first thing you can do to get a guaranteed win out of this course is to finish the course. So by this, what I mean is you need to make sure that you're doing all the assignments, you watch every video lecture, and if you do this, I guarantee you, you are going to improve and learn how to draw animals. Now, I highly encourage you to go on through the next few lectures until you get to the first project in this course. The first project is really meant to get your feet wet and to just get you started. Getting started is one of the hardest parts. And if you've already started this course and you're watching this lecture, then you've already done one of the hardest things. But the next step is to actually start drawing. So make sure you make it to that first project and finish it. Now, you may be looking at this course and thinking, this course is huge, it's hours long, how am I ever going to finish this? It's really important to look at this course in steps. Just take it one step at a time. So, I like to think of my courses as one video lecture equals one day. So, just take it one video at a time. If you wanna go through it quicker, that's fine, but don't, don't rush yourself. You have a lifetime access to this course, so there's no need to rush through this course. The next thing you need to do to get a win out of this course is to participate. Make sure that you ask all the questions that you have. It doesn't matter what the question is, there's no such thing as a dumb question. So just make sure you ask it in the Q&A section and it will get answered. Another way you can participate in the course is to post your drawings and assignments to the Q&A section of the course. This way, people can comment on it, share with you what they think about it, or if you have any specific questions about the drawing or assignment you just did, you can ask them and I can actually see the drawing or image that you have and I can reference that. Remember, if there's anything you need help with, go ahead and ask in the Q&A section and all the questions in there get answered. So how do you ask a question on Udemy? Well, all you have to do is come down here to where it says Q&A at the bottom of the screen. And once you click on that, it's gonna say ask a new question or search all course questions. What this is for is if somebody has already asked the question you're asking, you can search it here and see if anybody's asked it and if it's been answered. If it hasn't been asked yet or answered, then you can go ahead and just hit ask a new question and you can ask that question. Now, what I want you to do for this lecture is start participating. So I'm going to have you click ask a new question and I just want you to title your question with my name is and then whatever your name is. Then you're going to come down here to the description and I want you to share with us who you are, what your goals are for this course and maybe share with us some of your past experience with drawing. You can even post some of your old drawings in here so we can get an idea of where you are skill wise. So that brings us to the end of this lecture. So just make sure you share with us in the Q&A section on this lecture, and I'll see you in the next lecture.